Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we're going to be discussing the pre-deployment of a Unify Access job I have coming up involving about 40 doors. This will include showing the floor plan in Design Center, talking about the hardware and cabling I'll be using. This will be a multi-part series put into a playlist and the next video will include all the physical cabling. If you're new here, make sure to hit the sub button. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at MacTelecomNetworks.com. Now let's take a look at Design Center and how this is going to be laid out. We're now in Unified Design Center and there is two floors to this building as well as a parking garage. You'd see these yellow dots. Each one of these yellow dots is an existing reader and we're going to be replacing it with Unify Access. The pink dots, that means that they want a new reader on it. So we're going to have to run all new cabling. Even though there's cabling to all of these existing readers, Ubiquiti does it a little bit different as they use Ethernet for their readers. So we'll be ripping and replacing everything. We're going to start on the first floor and we're going to start placing devices. So in the top, we could click on place devices, click on door access, and then select what we want. For the exterior doors, we're going to be using the G2 Reader Pro. So I'm going to click on that. Now we could place all the G2 Reader Pros that are on the exterior door. So this is the front of the building here, which will have three. The exterior door on the right, that's going into the stairwell. The one on the left, and then the one on the back door. Everything else is going to just be the standard G2 Reader. So I'll click on the G2 Reader, and then we'll place it where they need to be. We're going to be using the Enterprise Access Hubs that could hold eight readers each. There is 19 on this floor, so we're going to need to have three of those. And there is an electrical room, so that's where we're going to place all three. One really nice thing about Unified Design Center is that we could get an estimate of how much cabling that we're going to need. Up in the top, you could see this cable route. This would be like our cable tray if we're using one. This does have drop ceiling already with a bunch of cable already in there. But our cable route, it's just going to go from the one side all the way into this electrical room where the hubs are sitting. We could also do the same thing on this left hand side. We'll just click and then we'll drag up to this chaseway here. For the front doors, it's going to be a straight shot down into the cable tray. And then same with our back door, it's going to be right back up into that cable tray. Once we have the cable route done, we could click up top and then we could do auto draw cables and it's going to put all of the reader cabling into this tray. Now we can see all the cable routes done and the access readers. If we click on one of the lines and the, for the front reader, we're getting 113 feet. If we do one of these ones on the side, it's going to be 170 feet. So that's a little bit longer. We now have the first floor done. Let's go up to the second floor. The second floor, you could see there's about the same amount of readers. We are moving one reader from this location, which is an old location to a new location. So we're not gonna include that in our build, but we need to also place these devices. These are gonna all be the G2 readers without the cameras. There's 18 readers on this floor, so we have to use three enterprise access hubs. And this will be going into the mechanical room where it already has their network cabinet. In their parking garage, there really isn't that much stuff here, but we're gonna be using the G2 reader. So that will be in the hallway. It will also be in the door going to the mechanical room. And then also in this stairwell, we will be adding a gate access starter kit for this deployment as they do have the gate access right there. I may put an AI Pro camera there to read the license plates and then automatically open the door when somebody drives. For this floor, we'll also be putting in the Enterprise Access Hub just in case they wanna expand in the future. Now for the cabling in this deployment, we're gonna be using infinite cables and for the readers, we're gonna be using CAT6 Plenum and it's going to be white. Infinite Cables is sponsoring this whole cable deployment, which is great and I thank them for it but every reader will need to have a CAT6 cable going to it. For our door strikes, what we're gonna be using is the infinite cable 18.2. We need to have our two conductors at 18 gauge. I'll be showing you all the cabling right through the roof, all the way to the readers, and also down into the strike and how we do that and how we cut the strikes in. For the strikes, we're gonna be using the Ubiquiti electric strikes, and that will be going in at every single door that we do. And the last thing that needs to be wired in is our door position switches, which is really just magnetic contacts. You'll see me wiring this in from the door to the enterprise hub and they'll look something similar to this. And that's gonna be it for this video on the pre-deployment of this Unify Access job, which is gonna be quite a lot of work, which I'll be doing myself. My brother may come in on the weekends and help me out. We'll be putting Unify Access onto a UNVR Pro as they already have cameras at site. So for the readers that don't have a camera, we could link it to our Unify Protect cameras, which makes it very nice integration. Like I said, in the next video, it's all gonna be about cabling and getting the cabling done for the readers and the electric strikes. 
After that, we're gonna be hooking up the gear and we're gonna be doing it in certain sections. So we'll be doing the top right corner first, then we'll be doing the left, and then we'll do, be doing the first floor. The reason why we're doing this is because there's a bunch of different companies that are within that building. It's not just one company. So we're gonna to have to create a ton of different access policies. Let me know if there's anything specific you wanna see in this Unify Access series. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.